Alright guys, Rollout here and welcome back to another quick easy video tutorial sort of thing. And this time it's just going to be on making your own 808. Um, so you don't have to use packs or um, you can kind of put your own spin on it, add things how you like. Um, do do kind of make your own sound with it of course. And yeah, this video is just going to be doing that. So what you're going to need is actually just one plugin. It's already in FL so you don't have to you know buy it or pay for it or anything and it is the three times oscillator so what do you do with the 3s oscillator well first of all of course you're going to open it on the step sequencer just like I've done here and you're going to go to these um, these knobs here which are oscillator 1 and 2 we're going to turn these down here just like this and that's it so we've got like a bass sound And with that bass sound, what we're going to do to it is just add, let's say we want, let's go. And then we're going to pick a note. I've just picked G sharp. And we're going to put this down octave. So you're going to hit control A and then control and down one, two, three. And you'll hear already that's made the bass sound. That's made an 808 sound. That's made a brrr. And we can we can do things to this, like slide it up. So that's basically the 808 sound, that's how you make it. And yeah, how simple was that? Like what? Less than like a minute, less than two minutes. You can it's so easy. So so easy. And you know, you can do so much to this, so let's say we want the 808, okay, it sounds okay, it just sounds like a bass frequency, um, you know, what more, what more do you want? Well, you can make it yours by doing, adding effects to it, you know, distorting it, EQing it, so that's what we're going to actually do. We're going to put it in the mixer and do some fun things to it, so you're going to click on it and have this open here and hit Control L. Once you've hit Control L, this will add it to the mixer and... Yeah, let's start like messing about with it. So, first of all, I'm gonna add a distortion for the fast distort, which is on the mixer settings on our three oscillator, and we're going to open up fruity fast distort. Once that's open, you'll see it distorts it, of course, like you would imagine. Of course, it distorts. So, first of all, we're going to go to let's try the heat. These are presets, by the way, to get to the presets, you right click on these two arrows up here and pick a preset. Let's go in the heat. Okay, I apologize because that's probably extremely loud. So I'm going to turn that down for you guys. We're going to maybe turn the post down. Now that's like a small buzz. All I did, all I did to do that was heat and post turned it down. Let's make it a bit more interesting. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. I actually think that's phasing, which is not what we want, so even though it does sound kind of cool, I'm going to be honest. So, yeah, if your AOH is phasing like that, of course. Man, that should not sound cool. That really should not sound cool, but it kind of does. But that's called phasing, basically, and it's what happens when you play two low frequencies together it's not good for mixing it's not clear it's not what you want but i'm making a bad case for myself because that actually fits <laughs> it should not work it should not work but um yeah to start that of course you just pull this in so this note plays before and you know it's not ov overlapping basically That's a cool sound, that's a cool kind of distortion. Is there anything else we can do it? We can phase it, I think. 
Let's have a look. Stereo shape it. This might no, not stereo shape it. That's the wrong plugin. Let's have a look. What can we add to it? Maybe hmm. Wave Shaper. Yeah, let's add a wave shaper. Oh my god. That's actually two distortions on it now. Um, but yeah, this wave shaper kind of shapes the waves. <laughs> no idea how to explain this, but it adds effects similar to a distortion and other stuff. So you can wave shape it, do all sorts of stuff to it. This is, I've just obviously distorted it. Now that's, um, this is kind of, I've made it into my sound. So instead of just, you know, picking an 808 and then being done with it, I've created my own 808 sound and yeah, it sounds kind of cool. Uh, we can also play with the envelope settings to kind of make it, to make the star of it kind of build up. Let me pull the tension down. Which makes way for the kick frequencies if you're using them. All I've done there is add an EQ on it. You know, hit um, these buttons up here, hit right click and 40 hertz and 18 hertz cut and I've moved these bits in so there's not so much bass frequency. Like that's another tip as well, if you're mixing 808s, don't keep this in unless you're wanting like really kind of like really high frequencies. That's a tip for you. Um, that's what I use anyway. I, I never have these frequencies in, mainly because they're so prominent. Like it's not like it's not like they're just silently there in the background. It, like it, as an 808, it's going to take up a lot of the mix. So just don't keep these frequencies in. Even if you're distorting, you can distort a wee bit. That's a personal tip from me. You don't have to follow my tips, of course. You can just do what you want. That's cool, also. But yeah. So what have we done with that? We've mi mixed envelope settings, maybe it's too much of a decline, so we're going to turn the attack in. Maybe mess about with this a bit. I don't. I quite like this, but though, more of a kind of subtle distortion. More of a saturated kind of feel there. I quite like that though. Just gonna make like a quick beat out of it, see if it fits in. Let's mess up a bit. Now I'm going to slide this bottom one.
I don't like that clicking. Okay, let's turn off the fruity love filter. We don't really need that. We've kind of we've kind of made our own 808 there. It's taken not too long, maybe about 10 minutes or so. And you know, if this helped you, I'm happy. And yeah, that should probably be it. I can't really think of much else to do other than well, we've done everything. We've started it. We've shaped it a wee bit. Well, which was actually just the second distortion, but it's worked. We've messed with the envelope and. We've EQ'd it, so that should pretty much be it. We've made a little um, loop as well from it and all that good stuff. So thank you guys for watching so much. Um, if you liked it, of course, leave a like. If you dis if you hate it, dislike it, of course. And yeah, subscribe because I do these almost every day. And I've probably got something if you're a producer um, that, you know, is going to help you in the long run. So subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.